So we're back again, folks, and we're going to be joined now by Dr. Nigel McKelvey, who's going to give us a roundup of online and part-time programmes um, with a Springboard Plus and July stimulus focus. So over to you, Dr. Nigel McKelvey. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, so Dr. Nigel McKelvey here from the Flexible and Online Learning Unit at LYIT. And this evening, I'm going to go through some slides that will outline some of the fantastic programs that we have on offer at the moment, um, as well as giving you an overview of some of the programs that have been running since September 2021 in LYIT. Um, and also to give you an indication as well as well as to what you might look out for over the coming months, particularly around about May and June time when we typically announce the next batch of uh, springboard offerings for LYIT that would begin in September 2022. So on the slides here in front of you, again, I'm not going to read what's on these slides necessarily. I'm going to be going through them and talking over them. Um, and again, feel free to uh, put your questions or your comments. Um, and Fiona will, uh, I'm sure, let me know about them in a few minutes whenever we're done with this. Last year, this was very much uh, an interactive conversation in that I went through some of these slides. Um, I did them relatively quickly. Um, and sort of freed up some time towards the end instead to have some questions and answers, which I think people tended to find um, most beneficial. So at the minute, we have applications open for the following programs that are on the screen there in front of you. A postgraduate certificate in artificial intelligence, a certificate in management and leadership, which is incredibly popular at the moment. So if you are in any way interested in that, um, feel free to uh, apply as soon as possible. The certificate in Revit and 4D BIM is also incredibly um, popular at the moment. The BSc in electric vehicle technology is new to LYIT. Um, and it is a, a course that is filling fast at the moment as well, and for obvious reasons. The certificate in social media and web marketing for the tourism sector is a really interesting one. It was very popular back in September 2021, and we have received funding to run it again now, starting in March 2022. Just on note on the postgraduate certificate in artificial intelligence, um, it is 30 credits at level nine, but there is an option upon completion of the postgraduate certificate to move on and actually complete a dissertation. And you would be graduating with a, a Master of Science in Artificial Intelligence Research, which will be um, a very, very good qualification to have under your belt. Um, if you go to springboardcourses.ie, you can filter by uh, the, the, the provider name, which is obviously the Letterkenny Institute of Technology, and that allows you then to see the different courses that are on offer at the moment. Um, so as I say, the courses on screen in front of you there at the moment are starting in either uh, late January 2022, early February 2022, or early March 2022. And again, the details are on springboardcourses.ie and also lyit.ie. If you have any questions about any of them, the brochures are on LYIT website, but you can contact springboard at lyit.ie and either Amy or Catherine will get back to you as soon as possible with that information. Um, I suppose along with applying for these programs of study, it's, it's important to understand that because they're springboard funded, um, that means that if you are in employment, up to 90% of the fees will be covered. And if you are unemployed, 100% of the fees is covered. So you don't have anything to pay essentially. But there are eligibility criteria that, uh, that you, you need to provide us with documentary evidence to show us that you meet uh, the, the, the requirements under Springboard. So that may be providing us with a copy of your passport or your national identity card, um, providing us with a CV, copy of your parchment or your latest transcript of results from the highest qualification you have to date. It would also likely uh, involve you sending us maybe a redacted payslip, just again, evidence of your employment or even a letter from your employer confirming it. Um, you, if you're unemployed, then maybe a social welfare letter or a correspondence from revenue just to provide evidence of that. Um, typically as well, we would require documentary evidence that you've lived here for three out of the past five years. So that could be a redacted bank statement, it could be a utility bill, anything with your name and address on it for the corresponding years. If there's any queries whatsoever on what it is that you need to submit, just ask springboard at lyit.ie. Um, and they'll come back to you with exactly what's needed for you and your own personal circumstances. 
On the screen there in front of you as well are a list of the courses that we had funding for under Springboard that began in September 2021. So these courses that are on the screen in front of you just now are currently closed for application. They're running. But what it does let you see is the, the vast array of Springboard options that are in there for people to avail of. Um, it was a really successful year, uh, September 2021. Um, the courses across the board filled. Um, the vast majority of these courses are 100% online. There are one or two of the courses in there that are blended delivery, which means that there are some on-campus interactions, some on-campus classes to complement online. Um, but again, the details of that are, are, are included in the brochures on each of those programs, which again, it's on lyit.ie. So as you, as you can see, there's a vast array of options in there for people to choose from that would allow people to reskill in areas that perhaps they're currently employed in. So maybe you are employed in the computing sector, um, but you don't have a postgraduate or a master's in cybersecurity, as an example, then the option is there for you here. And by the way, those postgraduate diploma options that are listed on the screen all have the option to progress onto full masters by completing a, an additional dissertation at the end of that postgraduate diploma study. And that's, I think, a really important thing for people to, to know and to understand as well, that you can get your full master's qualification at a, at a vastly reduced rate um, by looking at these springboard options. Looking at these or looking at this list in front of you here tonight as well is perhaps an indication of what might be available again in September 2022 sorry, September 22. Um, I obviously can't guarantee that everything that's on the screen here in front of me will be funded again for September 22, but we will know most likely by around about mid-May um, uh, of this year. And the applications usually open anywhere from the end of May until the beginning of June. Anywhere in between that window is when we would make our announcement of what we've got funding for and the portal for applications opens at that point. If you are really going to be following this because you're, you're seriously interested in some of these courses, please do keep an eye on springboardcourses.ie from the middle of May onwards, um, or you can check in with springboard at lyit.ie and we'll, we'll get back to you as soon as we have official confirmation of what, what's going to be running again, essentially. Um, so again, hopefully th that's that's a benefit to you going through this. I'm, I'm not going to read these particular slides. They're available for you to have a, a gander at here yourself. Um, it's it's about the rules and the regulations as well as that, that we need to be able to gather documentary evidence from you that you meet the, the eligibility criteria. So again, for some of you that maybe um, were born outside of the, the EU, but have been here for a number of years and working here, um, evidence of having a stamp four for three or more years would need to be provided as well, just to ensure, um, again, that you satisfy the criteria for Springboard uh, moving into 22. And uh, again, not reading out these slides, but you can you get the general gist. There, there's a bunch of, of documents that every single applicant has to produce. But um, I would imagine that uh, most people are quite happy to do so, uh, given that, again, if you're currently unemployed, all your fees are covered. And if you're currently employed, then 90% of your fees are covered. Okay, so I'm just going to flick through these slides. Um, and that's just some evidence, um, some examples of the types of evidence that you can actually include um, when you're applying. And please do include at application stage. Um, a lot of people might fill out the application form on springboardcourses.ie and we would receive that and we would process that. But if you haven't provided all the, the additional documentary evidence, we, we can't complete your, your application. In other words, we need to then go back to you by email and request those additional documents. And sometimes that can delay uh, your, your chance of uh, being issued with an offer. Because as I say, when Springboard opens up, it is rapid fire. People tend to be really on the money, on the ball um, in, in, uh, in applying for particular courses. So um, if you know you're going to be applying this month for something that we currently have on offer, have your ducks in a row, get all your documents ready for submission. Um, and if you're not going to be applying until maybe the end of May, start of June for the September 22 intake, then again, Around about April time, set something up, maybe a, a little alert on your phone to remind yourself to get all your documents together, just to make sure you have it there 
maybe as a single zipped folder or a single document ready to submit when the time comes. Um, it, it can make all the difference in the world. Uh, so again, just to summarize really, and then I'm quite happy to, to answer any questions you might have. Springboardcourses.ie is where you'll find out all the information that's available. Um, and again, if you want uh, a more sort of one-to-one -one conversation or a, a, bit of, a bit of feedback on a particular course of study that you're interested in, um, or you want to communicate your own personal circumstances to me with regard to qualifications, or maybe you want to ask me um, a bit of guidance or advice on how to get into a particular line of work, let's say, um, and are there any springboard opportunities at LYIT to assist you, then feel free to contact me personally, uh, nigel.mckelvey at lyit.ie, or for more general inquiries, contact springboard at lyit.ie directly. So Fiona, that's that's the, the, the summary of my slides at the moment, and I'm happy to answer any questions. Okay, so we do have some questions that have come in. Nigel, so I'm just going to take them as we see them, that they've come through on Zoom, yes. um, as well as Facebook and on YouTube. So first question um, is from Tracy, and she ha is asking, I did mentoring and management a few years ago, but it was only a 10 credit um, program. Um, and she sees now that the managing and mentoring is 30 credits. She'd be hoping to go on and do a level eight course. Would it be worthwhile looking at that managing and mentoring program, 30 credits, having done the 10 credits? And I, th I would say, yeah, that would that be right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, absolutely, because at the end of the day, what you're trying to do is you're trying to build the number of credits that you have attained at a particular level. And that's what uh, allows you to meet the entry requirements for a course that then is a bit higher up the chain. Um, so yeah, the more credits you can build at a particular level, the better that then um, alongside your work experience perhaps would allow you to gain entry into another program of study. Because remember we have our RPL or recognized prior learning opportunities as well, that someone you know may not have a, a major qualification under their belt, but they may have a significant number of years experience in a particular role that essentially complements and supports whatever qualification you might have. So the combination of both is then reviewed um, and that may allow you to meet the entry requirements for a larger program of study. And we've seen a lot of people come in through springboard courses at LYIT and other courses at LYIT who've used RPL. So I suppose the process yeah. really involves maybe mapping their experience in industry to right. the program that they're planning to come into. So you find a lot of people yes. maybe in the IT sector who are working yes. in industry for years, but maybe never qualified, um, but have lots Absolutely. of experience. Yeah. Yeah, you could have people that would have qualified um, back, let's say, in the late 90s or early 2000s. Um, they may have gained what would have been referred to as a, a diploma in something. So a diploma in computing, let's say, from the year 2000. Um, that would be a, an equivalent of a level seven, ordinary level degree nowadays. Um, and typically, a, a level seven qualification wouldn't allow you to gain entry into a level nine postgraduate diploma. However, if you have a, a level seven or a diploma in computing from the late 90s or early 2000s and you've been working in computing in that industry ever since, then there's every possibility that that work experience along with that qualification would allow you to gain entry onto that level nine postgraduate diploma and ultimately uh, exit with a master's potentially. Yeah, and, and that's what's great, I suppose, is giving that value um, to the experience and in industry, the professional industry experience. Another question that yes. came in was about the list that you had up. If somebody wanted to have a look at that or see it, could they email you? Yes, absolutely. No problem at all. But it is actually all on lyit.ae as well. But yeah, Fantastic. no problem. Drop an email. Yeah. Yeah. So anybody that's looking for the list of those programs that Nigel was showing this evening on screen can go to lyit.ie forward slash springboard and check those programs out. Um, another question that came in was, does springboard, and you did kind of cover this, but I suppose it's no harm in asking it again. Does springboard offer programs each year? I missed a program last year and would really like to apply this year for that program. Now, they don't specify which program, but they have asked mm -hmm. like, is it like a repeat or what way does that work, Nigel? Up until this year, um, I suppose we, we have been very lucky and very successful in that we have gained repeated funding for a, a lot of the same programs year on, year out. Um, and, and we've been very lucky in that regard, but there's no guarantee 
that we would uh, submit an application for funding for a particular program of study that's maybe been funded for the past five years. There's no guarantee that that will definitely be funded again next time round. But we have been quite successful in, in repeat funding. Mm -hmm. What is going to be different though this year is that whatever we receive funding for, for the 2022 uh, intake will be a multi-annual funding. So if it's funded this year, it'll be funded for the next three years which means that whatever we advertise now in late May, start of June 2022, um, those courses will be running for three years in a row, essentially funded. So mm -hmm. that's something to watch out for. But that that individual that, that missed the opportunity for the program last time round, please do, as I say, even set a little alarm in your calendar tonight uh, for some date in the, in the middle of May, um, just to double check springboardcourses.ie or email springboard at lyit.ie to find out what's what did we get, what's on offer, uh, and we'll let you know. Yeah, and that's what's interesting too about um, Springboard as well is is that yet yeah, we have a small number of programs right now that are recruiting. You can check that out on our website, yeah. but it's mainly that kind of summer announcement. So for anybody who yeah. has that kind of itch or that urge to study um, and come back, Springboard's yeah. great because of that funding element. Now, another question came in, and I think this question has come in from a, girl, a lady called Tanya. Um, she's commenting, as a mature student, will there be a fee for part-time courses? Um, um, I'm interested in the area of early childhood studies. Did my leave insert way back? in 95 but I did not get um, the level 6 um, QQI award in special needs that would allow me to gain entry into this course so I suppose mm -hmm. that course what the course that Tanya would be talking about isn't a springboard course but oh. what I would like to highlight to Tanya is is that we do have another event and it's a first of our uh, first ever event for LYT specifically on part-time and um, also then separately post-grad programs taking place next Wednesday night. Um, so that's the 26th. And if you want to kind of jump on to that talk, um, the Department of Early Education and Social Studies will be participating in that program talk. So we definitely can go into the options for anybody thinking about that mm -hmm. and also give you some more detail about payment um, and how much it would cost to do the part-time option as well. And there's some great work happened there as well with Donegal ETB in the level six part-time space as well. And early childhood care, health and education. So Tanya, we, um, in terms of uh, your question tonight, not for Nigel, but it is, if you want to email fiona.kelly at LYIT personally, I'll come back to you on that as well. So um, in terms of yourself. Um, one other question uh, that's come in, and I'm conscious that I hope we don't run out of time because there's a few questions coming your way, but um, how does someone apply to Springboard course? So they see the course there this evening and now they go and check out lyit.ie check out what's mm -hmm. available now in Jan, January, mm -hmm. and how do they apply? Yeah, so if, for example, the postgraduate certificate in AI, the one that's at the top of the list there tonight, if, if that's something that's of interest to you, um, go to springboardcourses.ie, so www.springboardcourses.ie. If you haven't already set yourself up with an account on there, it's really simple to do. All, the, all you need to do is set up your email address, you register it with the password. Um, and then you go in and you, there, there's an option, there's a drop down menu where you can search courses. You can select Letterkenny Institute of Technology and you can search by keyword. So if AI is in the course title, then just put in, in the, the, the keyword search AI and click search and the course will pop up. So you'll probably see the one that was advertised for September 21. Um, but the one that will be running in February 22 will have February 22 in brackets beside it. You'll also see the open the, or the sorry the closing date and the start date of, of the course, which will indicate to you obviously that you're looking at the right one. You'll not be allowed to apply for the one that's already started, so you don't have to worry that you're applying for a course that's already running because it won't actually permit you to do it. So springroadcourses.ie set yourself up with an account um, that allows you to apply. You can apply actually for up to 10 courses at a time on springboardcourses.ie, um, which is really useful to know as well, particularly when it comes to the summer recruitment process. Well, where maybe there's a whole bunch of courses that Letterkenny Institute of Technology will be running and offering that you'd be interested in applying for. Um, feel free to apply for more than one, is what I'm trying to say. 
um, because if one course fills and maybe you aren't successful in that one, there's every possibility that you could get your place on another alternative course at, at LYIT. So feel free to apply for up to 10. That's fantastic. And again, that multiple choice in terms of applying is a big deal, Nigel, because yes. you might see a couple of different courses that spark your interest, but being able to 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 do that. Now, you don't have to indicate a yeah. preference or anything. Like It's not like CAO no, you where you just, no. just the 10 choices, yeah? It's your 10 choices. You you pick whatever, whatever number of courses you're interested in. And what we do as well in LYIT, which um, is, is, is a really useful thing and, and a very good thing to do. If, for example, um, an academic head of department reviewed your application and thinks they're not really meeting the entry requirements for this course, and unfortunately we can't offer you a place, what they do tend to do is if there is another course currently on offer through Springboard that you would actually meet the entry requirements for, they'll advise you on that which gives you another opportunity to apply if you haven't already done so. So we've done that multiple times for students that maybe applied for one of the postgraduate diplomas at level nine, and they didn't really meet the entry requirements. But what we did do is, is we advised them on a different course of study in the Department of Computing to apply for, and they got accepted onto that one instead. And by completing that course, that then allows them to apply next year for the level nine course that they were really interested in. So it's like yeah, a stepping that's stone. Interesting. Yeah, that's great because at least it's not a door closed. There's an option, exactly. a door number two exactly. in terms of it. Um, another question about um, courses. Now, I don't think, again, it's kind of in that space of part time, but do we have any accountancy courses in the evening? Yes, LYIT has um, run the payroll and computerized accounts program, uh, part time program in the evening times, but it starts in September. So if that individual would like to contact me again, Fiona.Kelly at LYIT. .ie, I'll definitely connect them with the right people again for that September intake program. And as I said, we're going to be running our part time and postgraduate programs evening next Wednesday night from 6 p.m. till 9 p.m. Um, and we'll be going through all those courses that um, have openings in either May slash September. Um, so it's a great kind of, I suppose, awareness event to let you see what um, is available at LYIT. And these are kind of non-funded courses. Um, so Nigel, if someone's watching tonight now and they're thinking, right, well, I wouldn't mind doing something. Should I just give this a go? Springboard really is a great option, isn't it? It's fantastic. Um, we, we get really, really good comments and feedback from students who, who undertake these Springboard courses. You know, people that have maybe been out of education for a while as well and are quite maybe daunted at the prospects of coming back. Um, they find Springboard, they're, they're short, they're snappy, they're mostly all online. Um, and it's a fantastic way to get your foot on the ladder um, if that's what you're trying to do. Um, I know a lot of people as well that have maybe uh, gotten a degree 10, 15 years ago in an area and they're just maybe a bit bored now. Um, of, of their particular job or they feel like they're not going anywhere in that particular career and they want to change things up. Um, you know, that we have conversion courses as well that, you know, convert your skill set essentially. So you may have a degree in, I don't know, you may have a degree in, in, in biology, let's say, but you really want to get into technology. Well, if you have a degree in biology and you want to go down the technical route, then you could do the HDIP in computing, which is a conversion course. So that's level eight. And that qualifies you as a as a computing graduate at that point, and that's all done and dusted in one year. Uh, yeah, so you know there's fantastic. there's fantastic opportunities in there. And as I say, we have um, some entry level, level six, level seven programs as well. So for people that maybe um, have a leaving cert and maybe didn't really go any further than that at a, at a given point, there's some entry entry routes there as well for you. And I think it's that mix from level six right the way up to level nine. And for anybody watching, level six is generally like that two year course, but in springboard, there can be much le less time. Like you could be yeah. talking about a six month delivery for some of our level six programs. Um, and then there's level sevens and level eights and nines. And it shows you on the LYIT website what level it is. You can click on the course, you can check out what you'll expect to learn, and it shows mm -hmm. you then how to apply. So anybody watching tonight, and again, that um, ability to be able to study to have it pretty much funded. So even if you're working, sometimes it's only 10% of the fees you have to pay. Like that is yeah. a big draw. It is, it is. When you look at, you know, the, the price of 
a, a typical postgraduate diploma in something at level nine, for example, um, you know, you're, you're looking at a few thousand, whereas under Springboard, you might have nothing more than, you know, maybe 400 euro to pay if you're employed. Yeah. If you're unemployed, it's zero. Um, so yeah. that there, it's, you know, it's, it's significant. That's amazing. So it is. Another question came in on Facebook and so far this evening we've had 428 people viewing the talk. So um, very popular this evening in terms of our lives uh, as well. But someone thinking about and again, I suppose it doesn't come in under Springboard, but I suppose your message is clear tonight. I'd love to go into adult nursing. She has highlighted on our, our social media pages, but just can't afford it. So we might suggest that that person clicks in and watches the 7.30 talk about finance and funding your third level journey, because it's surprising the supports that are there for anybody yeah. going back into education. But I suppose your message really, Nigel, is just kind of go for it. Go for it. Absolutely. Have a look at what's on there at the moment for those courses that are starting now in January, February or March. Uh, we have a limited number at this time of the year, but keep an eye from mid-May. Uh, between mid-May and mid-June is when we will announce and that's when we start recruiting for September intakes. That's fantastic. Nigel, your wealth of information. Thanks so much for joining us um, this evening. Um, next up, uh, we're going to be joined by Rashi McCormick. She's LYIT's disability officer. And there is very little that she doesn't know when it comes to here, dare, and student supports at LYIT. So be sure to join in and comment to us live at seven o'clock here on Zoom, Facebook, and on YouTube.